Gang, made it out to one of my favorite little getaways not far from town. I've done at least one or two videos here. Uh, this is the Cameron Trail Shelter down here in the Malabar Scrub Sanctuary. And what we're going to talk about today is how to keep snakes and critters out of your camp. So this is a question that's been asked to me a few times, but I had to wake up this morning and I had a private message from a gentleman named George. Uh, lives out in Polk County, which is in the center part of the Florida state, um, and asked, how do you guys keep snakes and critters out of your camp? I see you're building a base camp out in the middle of the Palmetto Flats. That's a really good question. A really good question. So I'm gonna take this couple minutes here and I'm going to try to share with you a couple secrets on how we try to stay safe and keep the critters out. Safety starts long before you hit the trail or make it out to your campsite. It starts at home. You need to learn how to pack smart and efficiently, such as if you're bringing food into the area out in the woods, make sure it's packed in an airtight container. All right, on top of that, make sure you're organized. Bring yourself a couple Walmart grocery bags so you can throw your trash out and take it out with you and away from critters that might be interested in the smell. Not to mention personal hygiene. Down here in Florida, 90% of the year, it's hot and you're sweating, all right? So if you keep clean and have a nice shower and stuff, you're gonna sweat, but at least it's not gonna be stinky sweat, which attracts all kinds of critters, especially mosquitoes. You also notice on a walk out here, before I even got into the woods, found myself a stick. All right, right size stick. So I can smack the bushes in front of me, okay? I don't want no surprises like snakes coming up on me and stuff, all right? At least if I smack it, I can alert them and they're gonna show their head and now I've got a chance instead of just walking through all this stuff and having a snake hit me in the leg. Also, this doubles so I don't have to walk into cobwebs as I'm walking through the trees and stuff. Always your first bet when you go to walking out in the woods and trying to make it out there to camp. All right, so we've made it out to our destination, let's say, and we're going to be camping out here. When I know I'm gonna stay overnight, I always bring a nice machete with me so I can easily clear out all those extra palmettos or high grasses that the snakes and stuff like to live in. So make sure that you have yourself a nice open space and don't work hard, work smart. Bring machete, especially if you know it's gonna be a high grass area. Once you get your camp set up in an area where it's all cleared and stuff like that, one of the first things that you're gonna always wanna make sure to do is to get yourself a fire started. Most people visualize Florida as a beautiful paradise. And in essence, you're right, but so many people forget. This is a swamp, and you know what that means? You got it. It breeds some of the largest mosquitoes you can even imagine. Now there's countless products that are on the market that you can purchase, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, little systems you can hang up around your camp and stuff or spray and all that other good stuff. A lot of people don't believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, the DEET and the smell and the greasiness and oil and stuff like that. If you don't have that kind of nerve to be bringing that kind of stuff with you, look around before you come out camping and stuff and see if you can locate yourself some sprigs of sage. That's right, sage local uh, wholesale uh, herbal place or whatever will carry that whatever make sure if you get some of this put them down on your coals and let it smolter I guarantee you you're not gonna have any mosquitoes still want to go camping <laughs> Mosquitoes are the number one 
intruder when it comes to outdoor activities, especially here in the south. Swamps, heat, the sweat on your body and stuff like that. Now that we've talked about mosquitoes and stuff, let's talk about the real dangers. One of my personal rules of thumb whenever I decide to go out in the middle of the wilderness, hiking or overnight and stuff like that, is I always try to bring some sort of a firearm, whether it be a shotgun, a rifle, in this case, a pistol. It's not so much about the critters, I'm worried about other people. You just don't know what kind of crazy people are out there and stuff. I'd rather pay the fine or jail time than to be a statistic in an obituary. Alright, so we've covered the mosquito control and the use of having a fire, maybe burning some sage and stuff like that. Also, uh, having airtight containers for your food and everything, some old Walmart grocery bags to throw your trash in, maybe hang them from a tree away from your camp to keep those critters out and all that stuff. The importance of making sure that you're well bathed and you don't stink like a bum. That way when you're sweat, you don't stink like rotten sweat and all that stuff. What about the real critters that are out there? How about bears? How about rattlesnakes? Those guys come out at nighttime a lot. How about coyotes, mountain lions, bobcats, rats, raccoons, you name it. I want to share with you a little trick that my grandfather passed down to me years ago before he passed away that I use every time when I'm out overnight camping, whether it's by myself or with friends, and I hope that you guys can take some use from it. Every time when I'm out on an overnight in the middle of nowhere in the wilderness and stuff, I get my camp all set and ready to go. I survey my area and understand what size of a perimeter that I want to make around my camp. And I always bring my secret little ingredient. Mothballs. Yes, mothballs. These things set off a gas. And what they do is critters don't like it. Now, it's not a 100% end-all, fix-all, but you know what? At least now I have a chance. I'm alone in the woods with thousands of critters looking at me or interested in what's going on around me. These mothballs put off a gas, which is very uncomfortable of an odor for these critters. So if you get your camp set up and ready to go and beat down the high grass and all that stuff, make yourself perimeter usually about 50 feet in circumference around your camp, and drop mothballs. And I guarantee you, your success rate of critters coming into your camp is gonna go up. Hey, that's all the time we got for today, man. I appreciate you guys all hanging out and let me share a couple of the secrets that have kept me alive through these years and how to keep snakes and critters and stuff at bay and out of my campsite. Remember, there's no end-all, fix-all. When you walk out in the woods, you are farly outnumbered. And remember that. The best practices to try to keep safe is to be smart, well-organized, and stay aware when it comes to all these things. I'd love to hear about your comments. Leave them down below, concerns, or questions you might have, and I'd be glad to try to answer them any way I can. Thank you so much. Until next time, I'll see you then.